Bobam, were you surprised about the final outcome? Well, more or less. It was a long process, as Goran already explained, but um, there was a lot of obstruction this year. For example, we had uh, some kind of uh, problems with media. They didn't want to share with the uh, audience uh, like something that was positive in, in this process of uh, preparation of Pride. Also, several days before uh, Pride was banned, there was um, a lot of uh, media public pressure. Uh, are you want to cancel? Are you want to cancel? So somehow we had that on, on our mind, but we didn't want to believe and we were, uh, we use all our efforts to, to, to respect our decision to have a pride. I think it was good um, uh, solution. It was good strategy because um, uh, state want to make some kind of public atmosphere and to make pressure on uh, us as organizers to cancel Pride, uh, what can be easier for them to explain what's happened, but uh, after all this uh, mess uh, in, in the public, uh, finally state uh, made this, that decision and Pride was banned. So I think that this is um, only uh, answer which for, for, for which we can say it's uh, right answer and this decision is completely clear um, uh, attitude of, of uh, Serbian state, what they, what they think about LGBT rights in, in Serbia. I think that we cannot get uh, anything clearest than, than this. Mm -hmm. So do you think that this was a sudden turn of event or, or was it uh, from the beginning uh, planned that in the end Pride would not take place? Because Goran told about these preparations and it was kind of going well and then all of a sudden the pressure comes. Did it come right in the end or has it been going on for a longer time? Well, I think it is uh, one more um, case uh, in, 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 in the frame of Serbian government because, you know, a Serbian government never know what to do with, with a lot of things, not only with pride. And I think that uh, they also didn't know what to do until several days before, you know, because it's always going with, with, with another things, especially in the field of human rights, it's always going like, like this. We want to organize, but, but, you know, but, and there is always something but, you know. So I think that uh, they also didn't know what to do exactly until several days before. So, you know, somehow we have this, as organizers, we have this uh, as one of, of possible solution, not for us, but for the state. But I think that uh, the, the, this uh, banning of pride was not prepared several months before. I think that it's, it's like in real time, <laughs> you know, decision made it in, in some kind of real time of, of preparation. I think to, to conclude, I mean, that uh, it was not that easy for them to ban Pride. They understand what banning of Pride means, but they, at the end of the story, they don't want because of elections, because of, uh, I don't think so, that security the is... elections are going to take place in the in, spring. In April, next year, yeah. in March or April. Mm -hmm. But it is always possible that elections are in countries like Serbia. They did, I mean, they always try to find the good, the good momentum for the government to have elections. So it could be December, it could be February, so on. But normally elections should be in something like April but for Serbia it's 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 uh, it's it's the time you know for the election campaign to start and it was quite visible in the statements of politicians uh, that they are not happy to support pride but also it's the key question why we need the uh, politicians to support uh, mm -hmm. such basic human right like uh, like freedom of peaceful gathering and we were asked all the time by politicians but you don't have enough political support and we say well, well why we, we need it in normal country like Sweden you don't you don't need uh, all political parties to support, but from us it was expected that we have support from all political parties and we meet all of them, more or less, great majority of them, even opposition party, leading opposition parties. So we got some kind of, of their statement that they were a little bit more or less supportive, but not that much as 2010. And how do you think that this will affect the future? Um how will it affect the, the LGBT community now in Serbia, but also the future work uh, for uh, for LGBT people's rights? I think that uh, a, a ban of Pride 2009 
affected a lot uh, work of LGBT community because it was banned, I mean, uh, of Pride. Then 2010, it was really hard to motivate people in a way that they they don't believe that, it, that Pride would finally take a place. Now we have a real ban of Pride after the government showed last year that they can protect and that it's possible to have pride. I think people will be more or less angry, I mean, this because they will realize now that the state really don't uh, have ability, but they don't like LGBT community or they are more or less homophobic, let's say, and so on. I think that the LGBT community will now be more expected. They will be more brave and some people will be more active in uh, in demanding some things, uh, at least in, 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 relation, in relation to pride, but also in some other, other things people will opt to stay uh, in the closet and not to be out and so on. So it will affect in two ways. I mean, we will have more people that will be active, but in the same time you will, you will have more, more people, you will have some people that will opt to stay in a closet. But the very interesting uh, thing that happened these days after ban of Pride, we have a lot of people that are not openly gay, uh, that are supporting us and, and sending words of support. We got a really, really enormous, enormous uh, support from LGBT community in that regard. And Boban, there are many ways to tackle discrimination. Um, Probably you get this question many times, but why why do you think it's important to have a pride parade? Well, pride uh, somehow still to be the biggest uh, what we can do for LGBT community, not because we want to have one nice day of, uh, I don't know, and to have party on the street or something like that, but uh, pride have that power to, to make uh, open debate in the public sphere with, uh, I think, uh, Everybody in Serbia has something to say about pride, for, from some singer to, to president of government or something like that. You know, everybody has that need to give some kind of comments. And it's still to be very important, and we use pride just for, also for that, to, to make some kind of public debate. Those what is what we can see as one of important results of all previous prides, is that we have more and more young people who decide to make coming out because you know when you have this debate in in the public sphere you have something some same things on something like micro plan you know and people start to discuss on the working place in in the frame of families or something like that so um, like one of example, good example can be that uh, for this pride, which we want to have this year, we had a lot of young volunteers, and they simply accept to be volunteers. We don't must try to. We didn't tr find them in you know, some kind of secret ways or something like that. People just want to participate because they're like sick of uh, different kind of pressures. So. Uh, we, we can see this like good result and important to to insist on, on, on pride as an event. And for me personally, this pride this year is happen because we have some some process, we have a lot of public discussions and we had some kind of answer, you know. So even a lot of uh, organization, LGBT or human rights organization working on, on this uh, issue in, in Serbia. Pride is something that is very public and what include um, different aspects of uh, respecting of human rights. And now when we speak about this Bennett Pride, we don't speak only about LGBT rights. We, we, we now we, we insist on freedom of gathering, f freedom of assembly, and that is what is basic for all citizens. And uh, uh, we want to show this th that this pride, which is banned, is not only something about LGBT community. It's it's also connected with with all people because somebody can be next. You know, it's it's political issue. So do you think that Serbia is ready for pride within the near future or what would need to happen for them to really accept a pride parade? It's not easy to answer this question. I mean, you need to know that last year we have um, uh, 6,000 hooligans according to media uh, or two or 3,000 according to police. Those hooligans attack police 
and participants of the of the pride. So it's not easy uh, uh, to answer this question. So we have a lot of a lot of violence in society, and they are not punished. Only 250 were arrested, 83 were uh, sentenced. But those sentences are, are very uh, very small. The organizer of the whole the whole the whole hooligans were uh, got only two years imprisonment. That, that's very uh, uh, that's almost nothing. So Serbia in that way is not is not ready. But still, we need uh, what what we need now at the moment is government that will decide what they want. If they want to be on side of hooligans, because they, this year they, they show a lot of understanding for the extremist group, for the those violent groups, for the groups that are really uh, very, very strained. I mean, they have strained views and they show zero uh, understanding for the LGBT community. Can you That's give an example of that? How did they show uh, understanding towards the extremists? For example, at the very latest day, it was Friday, mayor of Belgrade, during the Friday, said that all groups, all, he mentioned that all sides should ban their events. So it's not the same uh, when you have an event that are organized by groups that, that prepare violence, and they know that those groups are preparing violence to, to invite them to, to stop their gatherings and invite us to stop that thing. So they show really that they, for them it's, it's, it's the same, you know, the violent and so on. Also they, uh, when they, the finally when they ban everything, uh, if they are really committed to LGBT community and they understand human rights, someone will call us as organizer to have a meeting to explain us everything. I must say that up to date no one call us uh, for some meeting or something like that. Today is uh, 6th of October and uh, this happened in the the last day of September, and you know, for, for the seven days, no one invite us. I mean, for for any uh, for any meeting, for anything, we have few phone calls by the low-ranking official and so on. That that's all what we have. So the government show very actively that they don't mind about us, and this is very this is the, the thing that we need to change. We need to change the government. That the government sh must show that they uh, uh, they they really care about the LGBT community. What is promising that some Sometimes some duty holders are when they're talking to you face to face, they show the, they are saying a few words of understanding and so on. But that's not enough. We need you know more to, to get a clear message that this is really important. And and uh, from the perspective of civil rights defenders, um, is there anything that we could or should have done in another way? Well, I don't think so that we should do in another way. We, pa we participated a lot, I mean, by, by, uh, by uh, participation in organizational committee and some other ways. Uh, but I think a lot of international pressure is needed, unfortunately. And this is a very important thing. I think uh, Sweden as a state must be more actively uh, in, in, the, in that regard, and all, especially Nordic states and states like Germany and so on. We need to lobby more. Uh, we need to, 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 to show international community that, that their influence is still very, very important in countries like Serbia. It's not only Serbia, it is other countries in the Balkans as well. We, we should not leave LGBT community or any other minority community like that to fight for their rights because they will never, they will never succeed without very strong international support. Boban, when do you think that the next Pride will be able to be held in Belgrade? Well, we will announce next Pride probably uh, on the on during next week, and we want to um, make like good preparation. Not only like we as organizers, but also we want to give one year uh, in advance for the state to to make preparation and to probably have Pride next year. We really hope, but we will insist on this, and we don't want to 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 be disappointed or something like that. It's our duty as a human rights activist. Thank you very much. Welcome. Okay.